What up everyone, Cannibal Watch Tables over here, welcome back to the channel. We are the same day as the last video, but you guys are seeing this about a week later. This is the next look at the teams that we have got in here. So what I'm gonna do, do you know what? I was just gonna go through all the ones I painted, which we've got in a separate stack, which I will show you guys my stack that I've got left. There are three teams missing that we've already been through because I don't want to go through them again. So I'm just going to pick off random, um, a little random selection and we're going to go through them. What I'm going to do, I'm going to jump cut it, I'm going to get them all in front of me here and then we'll talk about them. So let's go and grab a random selection from this stack of boxes. As you can see, I've selected 10 boxes here to talk to you guys about. Now, some of them are labelled up so I do have a rough idea of what's in them. Um, but yeah, we're going to go through it. The first one that we have got here is Brazil, Ref 50, numbered box. Some people get really excited about that. Yeah, I think it's cool that if a box has got a ref number on it, but as I said on the studio show, so easy to fake nowadays. So you can usually tell, hopefully, what an original is. And if someone, you know, it can be really difficult to tell whether something has been faked or not, but they're very easy to fake now. But yeah, some people get really excited about reference numbers on boxes. I think they're cool but I'm not overly bothered. So the top of this box did have a little price tag on it, which now doesn't exist. It was one pound something, but I can't tell because it's half been peeled off. It's got some classic tape on it. It's got Brazil written on the bottom there, or what was written, it just says Zil now, but there's a little label sticker on it. Anyway, underneath the box, absolutely nothing. Inside the tray, not a lot going on. And then the team inside is a classic Brazil, is what you would expect from a Brazil. Keeper, in the diving position in the green kit. He looks really cool, actually. I quite like that. So he's really cool. Team itself, yeah, it's okay. It's a Brazil um, classic if you want to play in a World Cup. The reason I have it in this box, I used to have a Brazil, right? And then I think I gave it to one of my friends, and I don't really know why. My biggest issue with this Brazil, and it happens on a couple of my teams, I think there's a Middlesbrough 171 somewhere in amongst this collection. I'm not sure I've picked it out today. But there was a Millsboro 171 that has the same issue. The inner discs not quite being big enough um, for the team. Underneath the tray, there's nothing. I've just checked that. You guys didn't see me do it. But I just checked underneath the tray there. There's nothing there. There usually isn't, to be fair, on a plastic tray. These aren't my favourite box styles. But yeah, so these guys are really tidy. Um, pretty decent paint job. That, there's one of the guys there that needs gluing back together, so that's really good. So I'm going to keep him out. Number two, he did, I just picked him up and his head, his whole figure came out. But yeah, very, very standard paint job. Standard Brazil. Um, oh, there's another one that needs doing. So actually, this Brazil, number seven, he needs sorting out as well. Number nine, Ronaldo. Pele would have been back in the day, wouldn't it? But yeah, so it's an, it's an alright paint job from, from Subutio standards. But yeah, so that is Brazil. What are we going to do? We're just going to stop this while I put these figures back in the box because I got them all out. Um, and we're going to jump cut to the next one. All right then. So that was Brazil. So team number two is a, it's got a Ref2 sticker on the box, which I believe is legit. And it says Leicester City. This isn't a Ref2. I already know this isn't a Ref2. So this, um, again, the box on this one's actually in way better condition. Let's just have a look underneath. Now, oh, it's got Scotland written in pencil that's pretty cool underneath so maybe somebody had this ref 2 down as being a scotland but apart from that the actual green area on the box is in lovely condition the team that's inside it is not a scotland it's a believe a 135 my old man gave me a uh, team list actually and he'll kill me if i got this wrong but i'm fairly confident it's a 135 so inside this box we've got an interchangeable goalkeeper this is something that i do a lot or did a lot I think interchangeable keepers are the mutts nuts. They're so much easier when you're playing solo to get a, a interchangeable goalkeeper. Now this team, I think is pretty much original. There's a few repainted figures in here or touched up figures. There's one in particular, number seven, is quite clearly uh, a repainted figure. Um, the rest of them know, could be legit. There's one down here, number six. He's got some touch up lines on him. There was obviously some trim, actually, I would imagine, that went down the side of the sleeves on these guys because they've all got it. So I'm not sure what this was originally. I use it as a 135, Leicester City away kit. Is it legit? I couldn't tell you 100%. I've had it for quite a long time. But, yeah, it's definitely been touched up by someone, maybe even my old man. But, yeah, so I'll use that as Leicester City away kit sometimes. Um, also, you know, it's pretty, pretty usable as a lot of teams away kits. But, yeah, nice team. Nice team. The next one then is another one in the classic 
short box with the inner tray there. This one has got a black scoreboard Burnley on it. Now I'm pretty confident, if I remember correctly, this is Burnley. So underneath the box, there's a little bit of tape there. Classic seller tape. Um, around the edge of some classic seller tape. That's probably only there because of the end team logo though. So let's have a look. Yeah, this is exactly what I thought it was. This was one that I restored on the channel. Now, if you guys remember that video, I will put up on the top of the screen for you guys now if you want to go and watch it. And if I remember, I will chuck it in the description of this video too. This is one of the, this is probably the first whoop, restoration job I did on this team. Um, it's got a lot of paint on it. If you remember, I've said recently about the amount of paint. Now you can tell, if you look at these guys, their shirts are so smooth. There's not a lot of detail left on some of these um, because I overpainted. Now, because it's for my own collection, I'm not really that bothered. They look a million times better than they did when I started, that's for sure. But yeah, so that's this team. It's repainted. I couldn't tell you what it was originally, originally, because I never stripped it and I repainted this team very early on into Burnley. And if you go back and watch that video, you'll see all the different shades of sky blue and all the touch-up jobs to it. But yeah, at the moment, that team looks amazing. It's so good now, but like I say, it got painted probably six months ago. So that one's quite nice, but we'll put that one down there. The next one we've got for you then is in a slightly different team box, one of the later team boxes. Real nice. Um, it's in a Ref 232 Arsenal box, which is also Burn or, I mean, what even is that? Makeba Hydux. Absolutely no idea. I've got it in there. It's Nottingham Forest. It is a Ref 1. It's the only Ref 1 heavyweight I've actually got. Um, just going to slide it out here. I mean, it's, it's decent, isn't it? It's a classic. It's nice enough. The bases of, for this guy in particular, number 10, he's, got a, he's seen better days. The paint job, I believe, has been touched up. Definitely number 6 has been touched up in some way. That's not original paint. Um, but yeah, but I, you know, it's part of my own collection. And the number nine is a slightly different figure to all the others. He's a short little fella. Not sure where he's from. He might be a rare figure, but I don't know. Um, yeah, actually, oh, so is number two. So number two and number nine are slightly different figures to the rest of the team. That's pretty cool. But yeah, so this is just, again, it's part of my own collection. So it's not, I'm not overly bothered about perfection when it comes to this stuff. I'm just looking for a load of guys that match up that can be a Sputo team to play in my league. It's a classic ref one. There's not a lot special about it. There is a few touch-ups on it. In general, it's in pretty good condition. I don't think there's any re-glues in here. No, there's no re-glues. Painted numbers on the bases. I need my numbers on the bases. Um, something that I did. The box, I say, is in good condition, but it's not my favourite box. And one of the reasons for that oh, is the noise. It's horrible. Oh, it's disgusting. Sorry about that, everyone. But yeah, so the box itself is not what this team um, should be in. I'm pretty sure it's what it came in, though. It was an eBay purchase, I believe. I think my old man got it for me. But yeah, so 232 Arsenal. So in the comments, if you guys, uh, if, if it's a rare one, let me know. I'm not sure it is. I wouldn't get rid of it anyway. That's, you know, Forrest living it now. Unlucky Arsenal or McCabe High Ducks, whoever you are. Next one. This one, I know what team this is. This is again in another one that's in an original. It's got a Ref 2 box. Now again, I'm pretty sure that sticker is original. The little label on the end is not. The rest of the box is in very, very good condition. This is one of my favorite types of boxes. It's not my actual favorite. You're not gonna see my favorite box style in this little selection of teams that we have. But inside here is a Pompey play -o, Pompey, Pompey play -o. That's my father-in-law, he's a Portsmouth fan. I probably doesn't watch my videos, but if he does, that's for you, Sean, I gotcha. Right, so this team then, 100% original, with the exception of the number eight, who is a repaint, a very early Westwood table soccer repaint, because the paint job itself is not that good, but that means it fits in with the team quite well, but this team is extremely old, extremely play-worn, but I absolutely love it. I love this team. I've repainted the goalkeeper, classic, as I usually did. Looking at the inner tray, I think the inner tray might be a repro, you know. I'm pretty sure the inner tray in this team is a reproduction inner tray. And actually, the outer of the box could be a reproduction as well. It's in very good condition. It's still got a bit of shine and luster about it. Now, this team, I love it. For Sputio, it's quite intricate. It's quite a lot of details going on in there. Um, with the shirt trim, the short trim, the sock trim. 
the three colors i just i love it i think it's absolutely beautiful there is a few areas where somebody originally has tried to touch up the colors on this and neaten it up but it is original it is definitely was a portsmouth but it's been touched up by someone um there's a few of the players that have got paint marks on them again i'm not bothered i love it for me this is what i would call an original team is it an original condition no because someone has touched it up is it totally 100 percent complete no because the number eight is um a repaint by myself but yeah i love this team this is in my league i use it quite regularly but yeah it's a bit of a mess but i love that team this came from a little heavyweight haul that me and my old man got way back when when we were um Cruising the streets, shall we say, for Saputo. There was a little shop in Sherbourne run by an older gentleman called Ollie, who was the nicest, nicest bloke I mean, you could ever wish to meet. Um, and we picked up about, I want to say like 40, maybe 50 teams, um, all unboxed, which is probably why that Portsmouth is in that box. None of them had boxes. Someone had made like these little cardboard trays that had all been taken together. All the teams were loose. There were some absolute beauties in there. Um, but yeah, that was amazing. Absolutely loved it at the time. Um, but yeah, so that's where that team is from. There's a couple more teams from that little hall in this collection, which we will come to when we get to them. But let's roll on to the next one. Now, this one again, this box, Inter Milan. Bang. So ref box, that is original ref sticker. Little bit of sellotape on there. It's got an Inter Milan sticker on there that we put on. Nothing on the bottom of the box. In general, pretty good condition. Let's open her up. Nothing in the inside of the tray. Now, I've mentioned this again on the Sputio show. Inter Milan. My biggest bugbear of Inter Milan. You look at that now. I've got pictures on it for you at the moment. It just looks like... It either looks all black or all navy. It's so dark. The blue that Sputio used was so dark that you can't really see the stripes. You've really got to get in there to see it such and such a shame because Inter Milan is a beautiful kit. Now, if you ever paint an Inter Milan, if you're a painter, okay, and you paint Inter Milan, I implore you, use a lighter blue than you think you need. Just a little bit because it's when you put the black on in the quantities that you need, you don't want it ending up like this one. I love this team though, 100% original. The blue, the actual blue bases stand out so good against the darkness of the rest of the kit but that is it the keeper is superb the upright red the inner tray has got written on it some squad numbers and someone's name but i'm not sure what it is it literally says cabba but i don't think it's steve cabba i didn't write it underneath the tray absolutely nothing you guys didn't see it but i had a little look under the tray there but yeah so squad numbers have been written next to the players again it wasn't me classic red pen but yeah cabba or ca Cax, but rather, rather, I'm not sure. Either way, I don't know what it is, but I love that. I love that someone wrote that. You've seen before. I love it when people write things on the boxes. It's uh, it's cool. But yeah, Inter Milan, 100% original, beautiful, beautiful kit, but the blue's too dark. If you look at that from a distance, you can't tell that it's Inter Milan. But yeah, so that's an awesome team. But, oh, actually, I didn't mention on the outside of the box, it's got written in pencil Middlesbrough second strip, which it was. That's legit. Well done. And then in red, Biro into Milan. Love it. Love that writing. Love that history on a box. Beautiful. Absolutely love it. So that's in its original box. So that's good. The next one coming up. This box is in absolutely superb condition. It's old, but it's really thick grade cardboard. And just stand under there. What I like, I'll try and get a photo of that for you guys. Underneath the um, one of the folds in the corners, it says Marden 6. I don't know what that means. If you know what that means, let me know down in the comments. Um, maybe it's the manufacturer of the box, but yeah, it's cool. On the end, it's got a reproduction reference sticker, and it's got Wolves 60s written on the end of it. Inside of the tray, or inside of the box lid, absolutely nothing, but it's such a high-grade cardboard. They don't make cardboard like that anymore. And then have a little look at this team. What a side. What a team. It's beautiful. It's uniform. The paint job is decent, in fairness to them. It's got a wire keeper in there, which I'm just going to move out of the way. You guys won't see me doing this, but I'm just going to move out of the way because I'm going to have a little look underneath the tray to see if there's any goodies under there. There isn't. And on this one, that's my old man's writing. On this one, the numbers have been put on by me, old man. I'm not 100% sure. 
I think it's re-glue free, but it's got glue on it, obviously, where they glued the bars in. But yeah, what a team this is. Nice. Absolutely love this. So this is a classic 49 Wolverhampton Wanderers um, on the orange bases and the black disc. Good combination for it. I don't think I would do it any other way. The orange bases have sort of weathered a little bit at the same rate as well, which makes them very, very similar to the tone of shirt, which actually works so well. With like a proper orange would probably make this look a bit funny, but what a team this is. A few little marks on the back of the shirts where I'm not sure whether somebody may or may not have written numbers at some point, but have kind of come off. I think they probably did. Maybe in pencil, it looks like. But yeah, so what a team this is. Absolutely love this. Box is in brilliant condition. Classic. Love it. So that's, oh, hello. Number two just fell out there as I was about to put him away. So yeah, Wolves, Ref 49. What a team. So yeah, Marden, six. I don't think any other of my boxes have got that written on. But yeah, this one's a real heavy duty um, looking box. Next one. This one's a mystery box because I'm telling you now, it's got on the top of it on a classic, oh, what was that little writer called? A Dymo label writer. He's got Glasgow Celtic line line J dot L. So I'm going to say that J dot L was who owned this team. Jimmy, Lo Jimmy Lennon. Um, John Lennon. Maybe it was John Lennon's team. Maybe I've got a real famous team here from the Beatles, man. Maybe I've got John Lennon's old team. Box itself, pretty good. Underneath John Lennon's Dymo label, it's got Celtic written in pencil. Apart from that, not a lot. It's got a little sort of paint scuff there. On the end of the box, it's got an old sticker that I had El Salvador written on it. Don't get too excited. This was handmade by my old man. This is not a proper El Salvador sticker. Inside it, again, I'm not actually sure what's in this. Oh, okay. What a team this is. This, I would call this Olympic Lyonnais, right? But I'm pretty sure it might be Czechoslovakia. There is definitely one repaint in this team. He doesn't have a number. Um, obviously, you'll be able to see him. What number should he be? Uh, two, I don't know. There's two without numbers in this box. Um, and it is made up, as you can see, of two different teams. We've got four figures here that all look the same. The plastic is yellowed quite a lot. And then we've got the other guys. There's four and then a five and then one that's a repaint job. Um, and you can tell it's a repaint job. One, because the, the shorts were blue at some point. And second, because it's just too good of a paint job for Spudio to do. But yeah, what a team that is. Absolutely love that. I would call that Olympic Lyonnais, A, but I reckon that might be um, Czechoslovakia maybe. But what a cool kit that is. Nothing on the inside of the inner tray, so that's not very exciting. Keeper, bog standard, diving blue. And on the back of some of the figures, you've got the classic Sabutio number stickers. Um, but yeah, that is such a cool kit. Awesome, awesome kit. What a beautiful Sabutio kit that is, by the way. Why did I not suggest that in the Netflix video? A um, couple of re-glues. There's a figure down here that's re-glued. Maybe just one re-glue. Yeah, just uh, yeah, two re-glues. Number 10, he's been glued as well. So there's a couple of re-glues in this team, but I don't care. It's amazing. Absolutely love it. Beautiful. What a team. So yeah, John Lennon's old Celtic box. I've got it. If anyone's interested, any Beatles collectors out there that want John Lennon's Subutio box, you can have it. I'll tell you what else I've got. Some Beatles special edition iTunes cards. Unopened, if anyone wants them. No, I didn't think you would. Next team then is another one you would have seen on the channel recently in our bases and discs video. It is a hand-painted Juventus. This was hand-painted by myself. This is another one that is for my boy. Um, I love it. You've seen it before. I'm not going to talk about it too much, but it has got the Coppa Italia Target logo on it and also the Scudetto logo. And, of course, the proper old-school Juventus badge, not that new double J thing they're using. Even uh, Gigi Buffon has got the um, logos on it. Did I date it? Not under the tray I didn't. Is it in the top of the box again? Yeah, October 2018, I finished this team. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, fully customised, different coloured boots, etc. A few different skin tones in there, long and short sleeve. Personally, I think it's a beautiful paint job. I left the square on the back for the numbers. Maybe I shouldn't have done it, but I did. So maybe I'll squad number it up for him when he's a little bit older. But at the moment, it's not done. Lovely team though. But it's not old, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about it. But yeah, it's one of the few teams. I do still paint a few teams, but yeah, that's lovely. October 2018, it's another one for my boy. And the last one we've actually got is... Juventus. So this one, 
is in a Ref 34 box. That's the original sticker. It's got um, a little label over the end of it, but I think somebody had also written Juventus in Barrow on the end of it. It's got tape on the box, but aside from that, it's in pretty good condition. And on top of the box, actually, you can see there, it's got Juventus and then in brackets, an I, which I assume means the Italian Juventus. I can't imagine anyone was using Juventud. I can't even where they're from now. I want to say Brazil, maybe. But yeah, so lovely piece of box. Inside of the box, nothing underneath the box. Not really a lot. What a team, though. What a lovely kit Juventus is, by the way. Original Speedo, Ref. Again, my old man's going to kill me. I've got the thing now, so I've got no excuses. Ref 34. Let me know in the comments if I'm right. Ref 34, white bases. Absolutely incredible base. They're massive bases, to be fair. This team is absolutely incredible. Love it. Can't wait to get out on the pitch. And actually, the green number stickers are really cool. They make a lovely little side. Keeper is in a blue shirt with the black shorts, but the blue is really dark. I'm pretty sure it's original. That might have been repainted. No, I think it's been repainted. So the blue, the blue goalkeeper shirt is not original. Don't get too excited. Underneath the tray, there is nothing. Don't get too excited about that either. But yeah, what a team this is. Oh, it's beautiful. I think I had a Juventus when I was younger, right? And I think I wasn't happy with the. Sh it, was, it was really weathered. It was a really aged team, like the the yellow, the plastic had gone a bit yellow, and I wasn't happy with it. And I painted the shorts white, um, which looked horrendous because I used Humbrol matte white. And it, well, if anyone's used that paint, it's terrible. But yeah, what a team this is! So this is I'm buzzing for this. Proper proper Juventus, love it. So that is the end of this little video guys it's a little bit longer than episode one but hopefully you guys have enjoyed it let me know in the comments what your favorite team from this little selection is right now there is going to be a subscribe box coming up over here we've got the playlist for the rest of this series and over here we've got a youtube algorithm suggested video from the channel thank you very much for watching if you've enjoyed it please leave a like until the next one stay safe